Hey, what is up, everybody? And I know I have a lot of videos I have to catch up on. I have this with you. I have like a WWE news video I want to do. I have to do my live reactions and review for 205 Live. And I have to do the same thing for Raw. And then I probably have to do SmackDown and probably 205 Live. I don't know if there'll be a live reactions or not, depending on what's on the show. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to start with this video. I'm here to give you guys my WWE SmackDown review for November 7th, 2017. So this is from last week. Um, I already did the live reactions and seen the show, everything. I just didn't get a chance to do the review until now. So uh, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm not, I don't really have any notes or anything, so I'm just going to go off memory and stuff. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, because AJ Styles was challenging for the WWE Championship instead... Um, Rusev, who was supposed to face AJ Styles, where whoever won would become a member of Team SmackDown, um, had to, uh, you know, um, wrestle, um, that match got canceled, so instead he wrestled Randy Orton, where if he won, he would join Team SmackDown. And he pretty much dominated the whole match up until Randy Orton hit an RKO and won. You had Sh Shane McMahon, Bobby Roode, and Shinsuke Nakamura watching the match as the wall on Team SmackDown. So, this kind of concerned them. Didn't really think it was the best utilization for Rusev. And it's just, the WWE, I don't think, is ever going to use Rusev to his full potential again. So, it sucks. Which kind of sucks, because he's much better now than he was back in 2014. But, I mean, I'm not saying that he was bad in 2014. It's just, as an overall performer, he's just much better. Then we also had a SmackDown Tag Team title match where the Usos defended against uh, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin, where get B Benjamin and Gable won by countout because uh, Gable um, chop-blocked one of the Usos' legs and he got hurt so he couldn't make it back in the win. So the Usos retained since the titles can't change hands off a countout or disqualification. Um, didn't care much for this match. Um... The match itself wasn't bad, but it was just really unnecessary. And I don't even know what the hell is going on. If I'm guessing, I'm thinking, if to me, what it looks like is it looked like the Usos have turned face because um, Benjamin and Gable have been acting heelish the past few weeks, and um, you have the Usos who have been acting like faces the past few weeks. So um, I think the Usos are an overrated team. I think they're a good team, but I think they're a bit overrated. So. Just my thoughts there. Then you had um, Becky Lynch face James Ellsworth. And what was weird is this week James Ellsworth was allowed to speak. They've been having him act like a dog the past few weeks. Um, but he came back and pretty much was sexist, saying that men are better than women at wrestling. So pretty much the match. It was kind of cool to see like a male versus female match because you don't really see that anymore because of today's society. Um... But, um, Becky Lynch pretty much won. I mean, she dominated the whole match. I don't think Ellsworth really got much offense in. It was a it was a comedy match. You had all the SmackDown women uh, that are going to be on the Survivor Series team out there. And it was a comedy match. I thought it was, I was laughing at times, but I think the match lasted way too long, which kind of hurt the match. Um, and afterwards, Carmella, for no reason, super kicks James Ellsworth. I think the reason we're supposed to think of is because of the comments he was making, so... What kind of sucks is I was kind of starting to enjoy James Ellsworth in this role. And now they're going to take him away from it. And he's the only thing that really gets Carmelo over. So it, that kind of sucks. Um, and then later on in the night, um, Shane McMahon made, makes a uh, SmackDown Women's Championship match for next week when Natalia is going to defend against Charlotte Flair. Don't know if they're going to put the championship on Charlotte Flair or not. Um, it seems like they may because I think Charlotte Flair and Alexa Bliss... Sounds better than Natty versus Bliss. I think either match will be great. But I think if you want to get like the biggest marketable match, you do Charlotte Flair versus Alexa Bliss. Um, because And I think what's going to happen is whoever loses this match next week will be in the Survivor Series team. So if Natty loses, she'll probably take Charlotte Flair's place in the team SmackDown Survivor Series team. Um, I actually am okay with that match. They also announced Sin Cara versus Baron Corbin for the U.S. title next week. I'm assuming Corbin's going to win. I don't think they're going to put the belt on Sin Cara. The only way I could do that, I could see them doing that, is to reward him for re-signing with the company. Because um, that's why he's getting this like big push, because he re-signed his contract. And 
I kind of would like to put them to put the belt on Sin Cara because I think Miz, the Miz versus Baron Corbin is going to suck as a match at Survivor Series. And while Sin Cara is not really much, wouldn't really be much better, I guess, but he'd be, I think it would, the match would be way better if Sin Cara wrestled the Miz. I think actually that would be a much better match than Baron Corbin. Uh, the build up probably wouldn't be the same, but you also had like, uh, in the beginning of the night, Shane McMahon congratulate the New Day for invading Raw, and Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon, no, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn came out and taunted Shane McMahon, talking about how uh, they uh, don't believe in this Raw invasion stuff, and they think it's stupid that they had to qualify to get on the team, and they, they were screwed out of it, and New Day make fun of the way Sami Zayn dances, and we get a match at Sami Zayn versus Kofi Kingston, and... Kofi Kingston won by the crossbody. It was actually a good match. I enjoyed it. And afterwards, uh, Kevin Owens beats up Big E. And then um, they leave and they don't play the theme song. It's an awkward moment for a few minutes and then nothing happens. So, I don't know what happened there. Um, I actually kind of know what happened there, but um, I don't want to say it. But at the time, I was like, what the hell happened? And then, but I like the match though, and I love in this Kevin Owens Sami Zayn alliance. It just kind of sucks because of this Raw versus SmackDown stuff. They haven't followed up with it too much, but and then we had the best moment of the night. I think I might have forgotten something, but I don't even care. I just want to get to what this is, um, where um, we had AJ Styles versus Jinder Mahal for the WWE Championship. They built up for this match throughout the night with a video packet that both men cut interviews on each other. You know, Jinder Mahal pretty much was looking past AJ Styles and just was looking towards Brock Lesnar. AJ Styles wants to win the WWE title to prove that he's the best wrestler on the planet. And you had the match, and this might be Jinder Mahal's best match I've ever seen him have. It was still only just a good match, but still. AJ Styles just proves why he's one of the best wrestlers in the world. He actually got a good match out of Jinder Mahal. Not a lot of, nobody's been able to do that, but Jinder Mahal, no, no, AJ Styles did it. Uh, the match was good, not great, but just good, and AJ Styles actually won the championship with a phenomenal forearm, I was happy about it, you probably saw it from my live reactions, what kind of sucked is this was spoiled, Jinder finally loses the belt and it was spoiled, um, you know, in advance, so I thought that kind of sucked, but AJ Styles is the new WWE champion, I think this is a great idea, mainly because one, I really want the belt off Jinder Mahal, now Jinder Mahal probably is just going to easily win the championship back. At the Indian tour, um, but still, we get a couple of weeks with a with a legitimate WWE champion. I forgot what that looked like. Ironically enough, we haven't had one since AJ Styles was champion um, at the Royal Rumble earlier this year. So we have not had a legitimate, really WWE champion because like John Cena's reign at lasted two weeks. Bray Wyatt's reign was just a placeholder for Randy Orton. Randy Orton's title reign sucked, and then obviously you had Jinder Mahal, who was just a joke of a champion. Uh, we have a real champion back now, so I'm happy about that. Um, and um, I'm also happy about, uh, you know, that we're not going to get Brock Lesnar versus Jinder Mahal. We're going to get AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar. I'm really looking forward to that match. I, I mean, if it's if, as long as it's not a squash, what kind of sucks about Brock Lesnar matches, you don't really know what to expect from them because it depends on how motivated Brock Lesnar is to work. I think Brock Lesnar may be motivated because I heard part of the reason they took the belt off of Jinder was because Brock didn't want to work with him. So I'm happy about that. Also, I heard Jinder's hurt, but I don't think Jinder's hurt. He's been wrestling. He he, he did not seem hurt at all from that match last night. So Well, um, last week, so I don't think he's hurt. I just think they wanted to get that title off Jinder because I think they knew Jinder versus Brock wasn't going to work as a feud. Um, but yeah, it was great to see AJ Styles win the WWE Championship. I'm happy about it. And that's probably about it for uh, SmackDown. I think overall, I thought SmackDown was a good show. I enjoyed the uh, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens stuff on this show. I enjoyed the women's segments. I enjoyed the WWE title match. And I, I have to say this is a good show. Because it, um, it finally had the dethroning of Jinder Mahal as WWE champion. And that just made it for me. That, uh, that This show could have been the worst show ever. Um... And the fact that Jinder Mahal is no longer WWE Champion just makes the whole show. It makes me question whether I want to go to Clash of Champions or not. Um, I'm waiting until after the Indian Tour until I officially know because um, 
I don't want to buy my ticket just yet because I have a feeling I'll buy my ticket and then the day after or the week afterwards, Jinder Mahal will win the WWE Championship. So I don't want that to happen. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'm going to make a lot of videos t in the c these couple of few uh, today, so I'm not going to do any plugs. Plus, I've had this channel for a while. If you guys were going to subscribe, you already would have done it years ago, so I don't even care if you subscribe anymore. So yeah, that's about it. Talk to you later.